kitchen and we are making cheesy cauliflower. This dish is coming up. Well, this is for Thanksgiving. You can make this anytime. But really, Thanksgiving's coming up. We're continuing our holiday series. And for those of you out there who are doing keto or want to stay away from carbs and don't want to eat potatoes, this is the dish for you. Cheesy cauliflower. So let's look at some of the fresh ingredients that we're going to use today. And my helper, Farah, is going to tell you exactly what we're going to be using. And take a look at some of these fresh ingredients that we're going to use for this cheesy cauliflower. Obviously, the star of the show, I have two medium heads of cauliflower here. A tablespoon of chicken bouillon. This is actually going to be used in the water that we're going to steam our cauliflower with. And you can't have a Thanksgiving dish without rosemary, nice fresh rosemary. And from left to right, what do you have down there, Farah? We have Parmesan cheese, unsalted butter, pepper, and sea salt. Ooh, nice. And then we also have some granulated garlic, some sharp cheddar cheese, cream of mushroom, sour cream, and cream cheese. So the next step that we're going to do, we got to get these cauliflower into the steaming pot so that we can get these nice and fork tender. All right guys, so we're ready to start steaming these beautiful cauliflower. You have your pot here, your steamer, whatever you're gonna use. Put a little bit of that chicken bouillon in here. You don't have to use chicken bouillon. You can also use salt, pepper, uh, seasoned salt, whatever you like. This is just one that I like to use. Use your tools that God gave you, these beautiful hands. And then what we're gonna do is put our little strainer and then just add your cauliflower. This is about the perfect size that you want. Right there, if you have some big ones, you can break them down with your hand. But you know, we're gonna steam them probably for about 30 minutes. Make sure that they're fork tender. What you're gonna do is, when you think the time is ready, get a fork. If it goes through nice and easy, you're good to go. Now would be a perfect time to preheat your oven to 375 degrees and we can start putting together our sauce. This is what we're gonna put into our cauliflower to make it that cheesy, goopy goodness. So the first thing that we wanna add is our cream of mushroom. This is like a medium can of cream of mushroom. I'll put all the I'll put all the ingredients and their measurements in the description below. Go ahead and check that out. We'll put all of our wet stuff first, the sour cream. Make sure you use your spatula, get everything out. Now we're putting our cream cheese. I'm going blank on this cream cheese all day. I can't remember the name of cream cheese for some reason. Now we have our butter. Oh yeah, this is about a cup of butter. Everything is better with butter. Better with butter. Butter, butter. So now we're gonna add our cheese. This is about three cups. Sharp cheddar, bam, look at that. Here's a cup of Parmesan cheese, freshly grated. Now we're gonna start adding our spices. So now we have our granulated garlic. It's about a tablespoon. If you like more garlic, you can add more if you like, or if you don't really like garlic, you don't even have to add it, or you can add less. It's about a teaspoon of sea salt. And some black pepper. One more thing that we are forgetting. Rosemary. So just kind of get your sprig. Use fresh rosemary, you get all the different flavors for adding different aromatics into this. You just get it like this and you just pull it back and it should all come off the little leaves. Some are a little stubborn, that's what you want to see. And this is what we're going to do, get our chef knife. Just chop it down. What we're doing is creating different layers to our food. You want to put all these aromatics in there and create depth to your food so you can taste the garlic, you can taste the rosemary, you can taste the flavor in our cauliflower and just create different different layers because our taste buds man they go deep you can have taste one thing in the beginning and at the end have an aftertaste of something else so as you're eating something you want to be able to taste different flavors here's what we're going to do now just get our spatula 
just mix it in and this is the love right here this is what makes your cauliflower cheesy and good and flavorful we have a creaminess from the sour cream from the cream of mushroom and I keep forgetting the name of the last one I keep wanting to say the cream cheese there you go my wife just whispered in my ear cream cheese you ever have those days where you just man you can't seem to remember things and you're just kind of going blank it's one of those days for me it's been a long week but hey we're going hard there you go see for me personally I like a little bit more pepper in my foods a little bit more garlic so at this point if I don't feel like I see enough pepper in there you can always add more so let's do that now a little bit of crushed pepper in there there you have it not too much just to give it a little bit more uh, so when you take that good bite take a little spice and, and this is exactly what you want to see right there this nice thickness give it a taste oh yeah that's what I'm talking about you can taste the rosemary the garlic the cheese obviously nothing but cheese in here good flavor so now all we have to do is wait for our our cauliflower I was gonna say potatoes our cauliflower to get nice and tender and we'll start putting this dish together then we'll throw it in the oven and we'll bring it out and you'll see a nice beautiful dish you can do the same thing if you don't want to do it with cauliflower you can do the same thing with potatoes cheese and potatoes right so this is your world you do what you like today we are doing it with cauliflower all right now that our cauliflower has been steaming for about 15 20 minutes now you guys know what time it is it's breakout time i want to share a scripture with you guys that i was actually reading yesterday and it's a scripture that i've read before but we all know that the bible is alive so it's going to hit you different ways and different times of your life, right? So the scripture, this scripture that I read, I read it years ago. It hit me different then and it's hitting me different now. And it's in the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. And it reads, look, I stand at the door and I knock. If you, if you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and we will share a meal together as friends. So when I, when I was reading this yesterday... I was thinking, man, the Lord wants to have a meal with me, right? The Lord wants to be a part of my life. And, and what is one thing that we all surround ourselves with when we have family and friends over? It's food, right? So the Lord says, look, I'm standing at your door. I'm knocking. Open up the door and invite me in. There's been many a times where we hear the door knock and maybe we just don't want to be bothered that day or we don't want to talk to people. And we kind of just shine them off and we don't open the door. We pretend like we're not home. Well, right now the Lord is knocking on the door of your heart and we need to get up we need to get up and we need to have interaction with the Lord we need to be friends with the Lord we need to love the Lord we need to have dinner with the Lord right invite him in he's knocking at the door of your hearts and all he wants you to do is open up his your heart and allow him access so that he can do the things that he wants to do in your life see the Lord has a will upon your life but it will in order for that will to be done in your life we need to open up our hearts and let the Lord in. I know that we're getting closer to Thanksgiving and a lot of sermons and a lot of pastors right now are talking about Thanksgiving, right? Which are very good messages to have. But you know what? It shouldn't just be around this time. Just like I said last week, Thanksgiving should be the giving spirit that we have year round, not just in the month of November, not just on Thanksgiving day, right? So be thankful that the Lord is knocking at your door of your heart and wants to come in and do things in your life that you have no idea of what he has planned for you but we have to be willing to sacrifice certain things and allow the lord into our heart so i just wanted to share that message with you guys right now the lord is knocking at the door of your heart open up the door and let him in and i guarantee you're going to be super excited and joyful with the things that he has in store for you praise god thank you guys for listening love you guys you're the salt of the earth and continue to slay those giants so now let's take a look at our food that we have going on so the the cauliflower should be done here let's see what we got it looks ready to go so i'm just gonna get it you can do this with a fork or a little knife oh yeah it's done 
remember you don't want these too too soft because we're gonna put them in the oven for about 30 minutes so that all that goopy cheesy flavor that we made is gonna mingle with these cauliflower and it's, they're gonna become one so let's drain this let's get these in the pan with all of our sauce and we'll put them in the oven for about 35 45 minutes all right, now that our cauliflower is nice and steamed and softened, before we put it into this aluminum tray, we're gonna line it with some of the cheesy mix that we made, okay? So we just get our spatula, just throw it down, throw it down. You want the flavors coming from every angle, from the bottom, from the top, from the middle. So this is a good way just to get it everywhere. Just line it up like they don't have to be a lot, but enough so that it's sitting on something, all right? Then we just get our cauliflower, dump it. Perfect amount right there. If you wanna do more, if you're having more people over, I'm doing a small one here just to kind of show you guys. They do sell bigger trays. Uh, just whatever um, descriptions I put down, whatever ingredients and in the amounts I put down in the descriptions, just double it, okay? So instead of using two heads, you could probably use four or five heads, okay? So then we get this, and we're gonna try to use all this. Hopefully we have enough space. I think we will. Just go like this and just kind of get it all over the place so that it can seat down every part, every crevice. We want to totally cover our cauliflower. With this goopy goodness right here. See? Right there. Let's see if we can get all this. This is why I love my rubber spatulas. Get everything out. And your bowl should be left like that. Empty. Let's taste it again. Oh yeah, but oh man. Man, even though like I tasted it earlier and it was sitting for about 20 minutes. Man, the, the, the flavors came together. I taste more garlic now. Color, uh, the colors, the flavors are starting to pop. So yeah, just kind of make it a little neat here. Cover everything. And we're gonna do something else before we throw it into the oven, okay? Get your towel, just try to make it neat. Cause this is gonna be really hot when it comes out the oven. So you don't want any of this mix coming out and burning you. One more thing. This is cheesy cauliflower, right? So we'll just add a little bit more. I don't know what sound that was, but it came out. <laughs> we'll just sprinkle the top with a little bit of rosemary. There we go. We got our beautiful cheesy cauliflower right here. Just gonna throw it in the oven. We wanna brown the top, make it a little crispy, not too much because that cheese, if you leave it in there too long, it's gonna burn, create an ugly crust. We want a nice brown crust, not a black crust. So about 30, 35 minutes, we'll let it sit in there. All right guys, it's time to take these cheesy cauliflower goodnesses out of the oven. I know they're ready. I peeked in there about 10 minutes ago. They were looking, they were looking amazing. But the way I can tell that it's ready, the house is just smelling. I can smell all the flavors. I can smell the rosemary. I can smell the garlic. I can smell the cheese. It's just, they, they were mingling and now they're ready to party. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's exactly what you want to see right there. Get a good look at these. A nice golden brown on the outside. Wow, that's beautiful right there. Cheesy cauliflower, for those of you who are trying to stay away from carbs this Thanksgiving, it's gonna, they're, they're gonna taste, you know, sometimes I like these better than the potatoes, just because, I don't know, there's something about the cauliflower that just brings out a beautiful, good flavor when you're eating these. So, if you guys like what you see here, please subscribe. Leave a comment down below. All this goodness right here. Tell me what you guys think. I was getting a lot of requests from uh, for, to make these from some family members. 
and some friends. Well, here it is, guys. There's the recipe. Right. Mm. Oh, my mouth is watering. Look at that steam. Woo, that's hot. Man. Oh, these taste excellent. This is going to pair perfect with your turkey, with your ham, all your other sides that you have, your greens. It's a little heavy because it's got cheese and a lot of butter, but you're not getting any carbs. And I guess with the, the keto diet, you can eat fats, but no carbs. So this is, this is perfect. Got a lot of fats, no carbs, tastes excellent. Real quick and easy, we just need to take time to do it. I want to get a big spoonful here, but man, I'm afraid I'm going to burn my mouth. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. We still have a little crunchiness from the cauliflower. We're getting a nice texture from all the cheese and the, the sauce that we put in there. So you got a little bit of crunch, a little bit of soft. Excellent. You can taste the rosemary. Mm. There you have it, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for cooking with me. If you guys like these, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the like button. Thank you guys for the support. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Be blessed. Be the salt of the earth. Remember, season everywhere you go. The Lord is knocking on the heart of your door right now. Open up that door, invite him in, and just dine with your friend. God bless, guys. I love you. We'll see you next time.